I'm Tom Paquette, design engineer at New England Wire. Today we'd like to show you around our electrical testing lab. We utilize state-of-the-art equipment and instrumentation to ensure compliance and provide the highest quality products. We work closely with customers to co-develop test methods for validation programs and first article production. Let's take a look. The High Potential Voltage Tester, also known as High Pot Tester, confirms quality of insulation and qualifies a cable for the customer's voltage rating. At new, we can test products up to and including 50 kV AC, as well as perform leakage current measurements up to one amp. An LCR meter is one of our more basic pieces of electrical test equipment. Whether it's inductance, capacitance, or resistance, these measurements are routinely performed both in process and at final testing. The VNA is used to qualify the performance of high-end transmission cables, such as twin axes and coaxes designed for RF applications. We commonly use this equipment to define raw cable performance characteristics of imaging and data transfer cables. Examples of some tests are differential impedance, intrapair skew, return loss, insertion loss, and eye pattern analysis. This machine can test products over the range of 100 kilohertz to 26.5 gigahertz. Our inline spark testing is performed on 100% of our primaries, testing continuous quality of insulation during the manufacturing process. Thermocouples are used as sensors for temperature measurement. Two wires made of dissimilar materials fused on one end, sometimes known as the measuring point, produce a voltage on the other ends due to thermoelectric effect, specifically the Seebeck effect. This voltage changes if the temperature at the fused end changes. The voltage generated is converted into units of heat like Celsius or Fahrenheit. This test validates that the thermocouples you receive have been tested to industry standards. The low noise tester tests for triboelectric noise. Cables are flexed or handled. Internal components rub against each other, causing electrical charges to form, which causes electrical noise, also known as triboelectric noise. New England Wire tests low noise cables per ANSI AMI EC53 ECG trunk cables and patient lead wires. Basically, the cable is connected at both ends and to an oscilloscope. A weight is attached to the center of the cable and then dropped, generating noise that can be measured on the oscilloscope. Ovens, humidity chambers, and cold chambers are primarily used at Newt to qualify thermoplastics used for the extrusion process to see if they will meet one of many industry standards. These thermoplastics are initially tested for physical and electrical properties. Then, they are placed in an oven or chamber for a predetermined time period with set conditions that accelerate the aging process. After the required time has passed, the aged samples are again tested for the same physical and electrical properties and comparisons are made to the pre-aged samples. We hope you enjoyed touring our electrical testing lab. If you have additional questions or require custom testing, please contact us at newenglandwire.com.